So today I want to prove that 1 equals 2. Uh, and this is an odd way to do this, but it's a fun way to do it. Um, what we're going to start with is something real simple. Um, we're going to start with negative 1 over 1 equals 1 over negative 1. Uh, just again, a, a different way to write negative 1 equals negative 1. Okay. And uh, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So if I take the square root of both sides, I get negative 1 over 1 equals 1 over negative 1. And then, of course, we're going to break those up. Um, and if you've seen some of my other fun little proofs, this looks very similar to another one. I promise it's not the same. Um, so we take the square root and we break those square roots up. Okay. And um, very quickly, very simply, I can, I can just substitute. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, you know what? This is the same as i over 1 equals 1 over i. Okay? So far, so good. So we've got that. And um, we're going to take this, what we've got right now, i over 1 equals 1 over i. And we're going to multiply by one half. We're going to multiply both sides by one half. And so this is going to give me i over 2 equals 1 over 2i. Now, the next thing I want to do is add 3 halves, or 3 over 2i to both sides. So to both sides I'm going to add 3 over 2i to both sides. Okay, I'm going to add that to both sides. And as I do that, I'm going to end up with i over 2 plus 3 over 2i equals 1 over 2i plus 3 over 2i. Now, on the right-hand side, very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, you, you have a common denominator, so you can very, very easily combine those. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by i. Okay, multiply both sides by i. So I'm going to take this and uh, multiply by i, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to multiply by i. If I do that, what I end up with is i squared over 2 plus 3 over 2 equals 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Okay? So far, so good. And um, because what happens here is, you know, you've got, you're going to distribute this. I times I is I squared. You're going to have an I on top. You're going to have an I on bottom. They're going to cancel. So you get 3 over 2. And both of these I's are going to cancel with, with this guy here. Well, what's 1 half plus 3 halves? Okay? Um, well, 1 half plus 3 halves is 4 halves, which is 2. And uh, what do we know about i squared? Well, i squared is negative 1, right? i squared is the same as negative 1. So what's negative 1 half plus 3 halves? Well, 3 halves minus 1 half is 2 halves. Well, 2 halves is 1. And so what do you get? 2 equals 1. It's kind of a fun little um, exercise here just to you know, play in with fractions and such not. And, um, you know, really, you know, uh, kind of a fun thing to show folks and basically just showing you how you can manipulate things like the properties of complex numbers and uh, that sort of thing. So, um, but anyway, so this is, um, th this is a fun little thing to do, fun little exercise, just showing that 1 equals 2. Uh, 1 does not equal 2. Please do not, uh, don't think that it does. But it, it's, it is something fun to see and something fun that to, uh, to try and find the mistake. Um, and if you've watched, uh, I have another video where I use this same, uh, the same steps here. Um, you'll see that, that there's the, the issue comes in with going from these negative numbers to the imaginary numbers. And so it's kind of a, a fun, but it's not true. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and look for more. And if you have any questions, let me know.